Hello, in this session, I will show you how to recalculate control limit and show the different phases of the process or project in Minitab on the control chart. You may have started with a control chart looking very much like the one here on the left. And as you, your team made process improvement, as you added more data, this may now be the control chart that you have for your process, which obviously is quite alarming. Well, actually, what you probably need to do is start looking at splitting your control chart and showing the two different phases. But obviously, you want to show a before and after picture to convince your stakeholder. So the good thing is Minitab is a very easy option to do that so that you can recognize here your before stable process with probably not so good performance and your after process which are much better performance. So let's look at what it takes to do that. So for people who are read-write, I thought I'd just write here the instructions that we will be following in Minitab in a second so that you have it to refer to. Please note, obviously, that if you only want to show a line as to when something happened or a date of uh, to be noted, without recalculating control limit, you can also do that. But it's a different option. It's called reference. I'll show that in a different, to keep the, the setup simple. So you should have a column with your date so that you can easily then relate the performance of the process to an actual uh, calendar date. Your column with the variable that you're charting. And obviously a third column that will indicate the different phases in your project or process. Now to keep things simple here, I kept two, but you can have more than two if that's the situations for you. So you would do a stat, control chart, individual. I'm going to keep it simple and just use the individual's chart. I click in and select the variable because I want to see the date. I'm going to go in scale, stamp. Remember to always put your cursor here so that the column shows up. Click OK. And then go on your chart option, depending on which chart you're here. So I've got the I chart. Always select perform all tests so that you don't drop anything. And then finally, click on the stage tab here. Again, with the cursor in the field, select the column that has your phases. I like to keep the options with each new value. This will enable to see if there are any typos, which means that every time there's a new value, including with a typo, it will create a new phase in your chart. Now, considering it's now very quick to generate those chart, it's probably the easier way to detect a typo. Click OK twice, and here's your chart ready to go and to be included in the report. Now, if you're having difficulty creating this type of chart, I would really encourage you to go and look at your data frequently the challenges are more with how you lay out your data than the actual instruction of how to use Minitab, if that makes sense. So for reference, again, I've put a number of very common challenges that analysts face when using these, these sort of options. The one in particular is for all charts that have an element of subgrouping. So this is the export chart, the U chart, or the P chart. Be really careful of how you do the subgrouping and how you lay it out so that you have the right layout that works for Minitab. The options have evolved with different version. So in earlier version, obviously, it was slightly less flexible. In later versions, a lot more flexible. But frequently, the situation of stack versus unstack data is a very sore point to generate those charts quickly. I hope this is useful. If you have additional questions, feel free to use the comment. And obviously, I will be posting more videos. I hope you like and subscribe to this channel.